think it's interesting. <laughs> that blue plate that you just saw there behind Alicia, that's the classic blue and white plates that is being proposed to bring back, and all the money from the sales would go straight back to the roads. Lift off. 1983. The year Sally Ride became the first American woman in space. The year Nintendo's Mario first hit the gaming scene. And the year these retro blue license plates debuted here in Michigan. Senator McMorrow, you know, her background is in automotive design. So this has always kind of been her wheelhouse, no pun intended. Molly Korn is the chief of staff for Senator Mallory McMorrow's office, who is currently on maternity leave. They are proposing bringing back the blue and white license plates, which were here until 2007. These plates would be more expensive, costing $100. However, all of that money would go towards fixing the roads. The fee for the plate would all go to the transportation fund. So, um, you know, it's not a silver bullet to road funding issues, but, uh, you know, it's, it's something that is a fun way for people to celebrate, you know, their um, love of cars and our car culture while, while raising some revenue for the roads. Similar legislation has already been passed in California, bringing back their 1960s plate. Uh, I can understand uh, that California saw uh, some value in promoting the sale of um, antique or historical plates that were used in the past. Ken Savage is the president of Fun Times Cruisers out of Macomb County, a club for vintage car lovers like himself. I wanted to know if he thought these plates would sell. Even in the 1980s, uh, there's a lot of cool cars. Even then, <laughs> I'm prejudiced to older cars because I'm an old man. Uh, but they would be uh, interested in that, sure. Now, good news for Savage. The bill also includes the black plates from 1979 to 1983. Now, the bill to get these plates back has been referred to the Committee on Transportation. Alicia.